It's time to shake the foundations of traditional management. We're declaring war on the status quo for all managers who are out there who are ready to lead their teams into the innovation revolution. This is where it starts. Let's go. Now, firstly, let's discuss why it's important to build innovation and entrepreneurial spirit into your teams. At the heart of every company like Google, Amazon, lies the secret ingredient, which is the innovative teams, the intrapreneurial teams. These groups, they dare to dream, they innovate, they take up later risks. According to the Harvard Business Review, teams that exhibit intrapreneurial traits such as curiosity and resilience are significantly more likely to outperform their competitors. Now, a real world example would be something like the, the Google 20% rule, which, which ensured that employees could use 20% of their time to experiment on things. That not only fostered creativity, it also led to the creation of Gmail, showing the power of giving teams the freedom to explore and experiment. Now, how do you identify and nurture these intrapreneurial spirits? The answer might surprise you. Let's uncover the strategy. The first thing to do is to create a safe environment for innovation. What I mean by a safe environment for innovation is a psychological safety. So creating an environment where everyone feels safe to share is exceptionally crucial if you want to foster innovation. Now, Pixar's Brain Trust meetings are a perfect example where candid feedback is encouraged, leading to box office hits. Now, in order to implement this role, you could start by holding regular idea sessions with your team where everyone's voice is valued. It's not that people are listening to answer, but that people are truly listening and every idea has merit. Now, nurturing the team is one thing, but embedding a spirit of innovation into the fabric of your organization or your team, that is where the magic happens. Let's figure out how to do that. Look, I've said it once, i said it twice, I've said it a hundred times. One of the ways to foster innovation culture within your department, within your team, within your organization is to encourage cross-departmental collaboration. Now, innovation tries on diversity, encouraging teams to collaborate across departments, breaking down silos and sparking creativity is an absolute must. The other thing is flexibility and experimentation. Now, Adobe had a program called the Kickbox program, and that was the testament to the power of empowering your employees. The organization gave them $1,000 to experiment on either new products or test improvement, no questions asked. $1,000, no questions asked to experiment. But creating this culture is not just about initiatives and programs, it's a fundamental mind shift. So how do we shift this mindset in our teams, in our departments? Firstly, leadership commitment. It starts from the very top. So leaders like Jeff Bezos uh, show the importance of embracing failure as part of the innovation process. If your boss will celebrate failure, then you will find it acceptable to experiment and even fail sometimes. The next thing is a structured innovation process. Now, while creativity is key, having a structured process for evaluating ideas like 3M's 15% policy or other companies' policy ensures consistent innovation versus one-off brilliance. Continuous learning and development. Look, invest in training programs that enhance innovation skills. Pixar has something like the Pixar University for which the employees can learn from. The most important thing I think in this process is recognition and reward. Now celebrate every attempt at innovation, successful or not. Startup Group's Innovista program is a great model of it. I know I keep using Google as an example, but Google celebrates every time an innovative product is killed because it means there has been learning and then now we can move on to do better. Now in summary. Building innovative teams or embedding innovating culture, they are not overnight tasks. They require commitments, they require strategy, and they require a belief in the power of innovation. Imagine what your organization could achieve with a culture that breathes innovation. The journey to innovation starts with a single step. You can start now. 
Listen, thank you for listening and I hope this was helpful.